Hello again, YouTube. This is Truth Man Give You the Truth, and this is the reason why black people are at the bottom series. Now, I've heard people taking up for Deion Sanders, including Corey Holcomb, who's one of my favorite comedians. I don't agree with what I heard. I got to finish listening to it. No. So what we're going to do on this one is we're going to react to some things that Dr. Umar Johnson was saying, and I'm going to tell you and show you why I agree with him 100%. And I understand exactly what he's saying because I've seen it myself in different uh, spectrums of life where black people had the chance to stick together and they didn't. And it brought the whole operation down uh, to crumbs, basically. Now, I'm going to be going back and forth through this. Uh, I'm not going to play the whole thing. And I'm going to be fast forward and give you why I agree with Dr. Omar. So we're going to be doing a lot of listening. You get to see this handsome face. But just pay attention to what he's saying. So I'm going to play this clip. We're just about done. Uh, electric is awaiting a permit. HVAC is awaiting. Now, another thing, another thing about this school, about the school thing, man. Yeah, we hold that over to his head, but is this the first time? I mean, the U.S. government mishandles funds all day, all night. They give more money to foreign countries than they do to their own country. So why are we so focused on what Dr. Umar is, is doing with that school? As if we live somewhere where everybody's perfect with money. I mean, it's just people just, they just like to disagree with each other, man. Like, I don't like to disagree with people, but I do about a lot of things. Like, trolls, they're actually at the school right now. Plumbing is just about done. They got one more piece. Okay, let's, let's go Viral forward a little bit. License to operate. Mm -hmm. If you want to. Let's go. And the white contractors have gotten us to the finish line in th Detroit. Yeah, hold on, hold on. I was who I am for black people. For the Mexican American community, that school would have been done three years ago. Have science, language, and social studies. We're gonna no. has multiculturalism, but used as a weapon against African people. So we want to make sure that we are graduating well-rounded oh, young man. men. He's still who talking can go about anywhere in the world. Movement. We gave birth to reparations. It's not anything new. Uh, that's our thing. Of the conversation number one, control of all black music must only be done through the black community. It's a percentage. The cell phone hold on, hold on. we invented. And it's fair Pull use, too. To YouTube Breakfast Club. And uh, he was just confirmed. Hey, that was Omar, it. I, don't I picked know, up hey. my bag and walked off. They didn't even show me walk off. I don't think you realize. Miss Leader Brigham Young, he said the devil was black. And he also just. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Did you know they did not ordain black ministers until 1978? He made a lot of good points on this thing. A mix of income, status, and Hey, hold on. Business with some was with uh, some white man. I'm just going man, through it to get to mind. the Deion Sanders. I think Kanye is trying to f figure out where he is so because Amazon. at the end of the day, white supremacy requires commitment and loyalty from all groups of white people. They may have their internal differences, but at the end of the day, they all agree that black people must be kept in their place. The Kyrie and Kanye issue was more about suppressing free speech for heterosexual black males. That's true, but we we moving on. Hold on. For his part in supporting one of the most racist events in American history, which was the desegregation that white man speak for himself and, then, and I, I like what y'all don't take up for black people like that Stephen A you threw Kyrie under the bus Shannon Sharp you threw Kyrie under the bus but all the these good points and, and it all jump. led up to this man to LeBron. but now LeBron don't pull a Shannon Sharp and a Stephen A and right after you do something positive or say something good you Brady D.I. could go down as greater than you go to Jackson okay State, here we HBCU. go if we're being a cowboy fan still I like football. Charlotte you're an Eagle fan. You like Eagles? Nah, I'm not watching no football, no NBA no more. I'm done. What? I'm officially done, brother. We cannot be for the black liberation struggle and support white corporations and systems that systematically practice and defend white privilege and white racism against black people. What about all those what brothers they that did the Colin Cabinet? What about them? 
They just there to get it back. They not protesting. Okay, y'all pay attention. They not Some of those brothers protest. Okay. Not doing much. Okay. We four minutes in. Show me a rich athlete who built a relevant independent black institution in this country. Give me one. And let me tell you what they are. Independent okay. school. Don't give me no charter school. Okay. Charter schools are public schools. Don't LeBron, give me no charter LeBron school. LeBron James in the school he built? That LeBron is a speak, public school. It, is, but, but it has his name on it. But you know LeBron speaks up for black issues. I didn't ask you about speaking. Let me go mm -hmm. back to my question. Mm -hmm. My question was: Just pay attention. I'm going. We're going to be doing a lot of listening. Entertainer who has built a relevant, independent black institution. But is that okay? Let's stop right there. Now he has a point right there as well. Uh, we black people, we have been taught and trained to elevate people based on their money, although they do not nothing. Excuse me for the cause as a whole to get us off the bottom. You got all these people coming from all over the world, opening businesses in our backyard, and we be more friendly with them. You got these dudes with these dreadlocks and all these dudes, gold teeth and all that. Man, you know where you is? You know, just not wanting people to come over there, but then they let the people come over there and open businesses. Like, that's the problem, man, and that's what he's talking about. Pay attention, watch this. I agree, but bank. But is that the supermarket, the hospital, that's all that manufacturing, distribution? It's the heart of a community, Charlemagne. Take care of the major problems we got. Just because LeBron James got in front of a microphone and, and, and undid what he did a few weeks ago. And I want to give LeBron some props. I appreciated his comments about Jerry Jones and comparing that yeah, to the that way in which good. they tried to uh, castrate Kyrie. Shout out to LeBron. That was but good. now, LeBron, don't pull a Shannon Sharp and a Stephen A. And right after you do something positive or say something good, you take it back by going right back to the Django character. You understand? He got to be consistent. Speech is not enough when you're worth billions. To whom much is given, Envy, much, much is expected. Is if you a billionaire talking, so talking, how, so how can y'all co-sign Kanye so much? He don't do that. Kanye does not pour back into the black. Kanye people. spoke a significant truth to a significant white power. But he don't pour back into black, black people. people. I agree. I just LeBron said that. Have infrastructures full of black people making. I'm gonna capital. ask you again. What institution? Okay, no. let me just stop for a sec. So this one is reason why black people is at the bottom because our biggest. And our brightest, and again, y'all know I don't believe in the talented tent. There's no such thing. Some people just make the right decisions, got the right people around them, so on and so forth. But those with the resources do nothing and or leave. Reason why black people are at the bottom, those with the resources do nothing and or leave. Now, when Martin Luther King was doing the civil rights movement, he had black millionaires funding him and helping him where he could just concentrate on the cause he didn't have to worry about paying rent and uh, mortgages and all this stuff. They were funding him. But now we are being systematically trained to be against one another. The only thing I'm against is falsehood. I don't care what color you are. If I if you can't prove what you're saying and you're saying something goofy, then I'm going to be like, I disagree with you. That's me. But as a whole, I'm not going to act as if White people are the promised land. Like, white people are the yellow brick road of 2022. So, let me just find where they got to the Deion Sanders relevant, uh, part. That's relevant. built by a black athlete hold on, or celebrity. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to tell you why it matters. I'm about to tell you right now okay. why it matters. Because he damn wrong. Now, if he told them, if I'm going to go back okay, and study here we some go. more. Here we go. Here we go. Infrastructures full of black people making I'm going to ask you again. What queens walk through the streets of Staten Island and ask black people what are the top five problems black people have in America? Okay, let's, I promise you, wait, voter on, suppression on, ain't go. one. Here we go. Voter suppression yeah. ain't one. Here we go. Then better comes along. As soon as it comes along, I may be leaving. He did say he, that. He said that. If he was okay, bad they're, they're transparent, about I didn't right see here. that. I, I played the clip the other day. He, he said, said it on 60 Minutes. He said that uh, athlete who built a relevant it's not true. Black I heard the same thing. That's not what he said. And let me tell you what they are. I didn't ask you about speaking. Let me go back to my question. I didn't ask you about speaking. Let me go back to my question. And black I'm just, if y'all wondering what's going on, I'm going through it trying to get to the DL Sanders. I'm more concerned about money I, I know than got, making a difference. I, I know go exactly. Sanders, exactly. And, and, and that is a flaw, man. That is a flaw. Like, you are more, because a lot of people are more concerned about money than making a difference. And I, I do believe that money, and I know that money is very important, but 
I want to look at the overall aspects of your character, man. Do not listen to anybody who elevates other races as if they're better than blacks. Instead of looking at it through a fair scope, through a fair lens as to what the ramifications are to when people make moves like what Deion Sanders did by getting the best athletes, lying to get his way, lying to kick it, basically. Remember, you ain't got to lie to kick it. Remember that song? I know some of y'all in my age group remember that song. Uh-huh. What's your thoughts on Deion? Everybody Sanders? been texting me about this. So, so here it is. Talk to me about Deion. Not doing my mind. Before you get into it, you know, Sean. 10 minutes in, but it's just going to take us a few minutes. So just, I know. That's right. And I'm coming right at it. Let's go. Let's go. And, 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 I'm coming right at it. Let's go. More lashes. I'm coming right at More lashes. When Deion Sanders stood against Colin Kaepernick's protest in 16, I branded him a Negro pen. He did? Yes, he did. He said he did. He sh- I saw him say it out of his mouth on an interview. Mm. He said he should not have taken that knee. It was wrong. Mm. Deion Sanders. Mm. I'll put him in a Negro peeing camp. Now, again, taking the knee wasn't like it wasn't wrong. Like, I get what he was saying. What he was saying was the truth. Uh, the timing may have been bad and it's cost him every since. But for them to come out and say that was wrong for him to do that. OK, what's right then? That's one thing I never say. Like, I don't believe in, like, this is our country just as much. I know oh, white white people. Oh, this is ours. What are you doing? Here? Who was here first? Who was here first? Come on now. Let's get a true history lesson in. The end. That's all I got to really say. So this is our country, too. This is our soul. That's the flag of this country. Like, I mean, y'all think the flag only represents white people? That flag represents everybody. And and you don't like like okay, so you basically saying that when the Olympics happen, you're not gonna cheer for the Americans because of the how they uh holding up the flag? Come on, man, stop that, man. Like when uh Trump was in office, I went to work with a red, white, and blue uh uh the jacket saying make America great again. People was getting mad. Oh, you talking about this slave? First of all, let's talk about slavery. Some of that stuff was fabricated, so it didn't happen quite as they say anyway. That's to get in your heads that if it come down to it, you're going to have all this stuff built up in your head and you ain't going to fight right against dumb people that might try to come against you. And I don't believe in no race war. For what? But I'm saying, like, some people might be uh, causing winky dink dink down in this place and that place might not quite understand the way I do so he might try to run up on me and he gonna get got that's all I'm saying I ain't gonna initiate nothing but listen he he's gonna break it down happening. when I heard Deion Sanders was taking the job I said okay I'm gonna give him his black pass back mm. because here you are one of the top five greatest athletes arguably the greatest football player ever that was wonderful man Including Tom Brady. Almost said go too. Down as greater than. You go to Jackson State, HBCU. Mm-hmm. That's impressive. It now really I hear was. all of a sudden you might be leaving. Well, so he's, that, he's leaving. Oh, he's, he's going. Oh, he's going. Going. Stay with me. Mm-hmm. He's wrong. But I have two levels of wrong. Absolutely. I got a low level and I got a high. I'll explain them to you quickly. My low level. If Dion told the administration and the students and the players at Jackson State that I'm taking this job, but I need y'all to know if something he wouldn't have got comes some of them recruits. As soon as it comes along, I may be leaving. He did say he, that. He said that. If no, he, he didn't. Hold on, hold on. Charlemagne and DJ Envy, to me, I don't know them personally, but based on this argument and other things I've heard with them, Charlemagne is like Fiddler on Roots 2022. I mean, nothing against him, but what, I mean, what, what does he really do? Every time somebody come out like, like this, just check Charlemagne out. And I already heard somebody went to DJ Envy car show that I know. They, man, he trying to act like he tough, mugging people and stuff. For what, man? Ain't that your wife that really just, you need to listen to my videos, man. This ain't about money, man. 
Yeah, and and check this. Umar gonna get to that. Watch this. I didn't see that. I, I played the clip the other day. He said it on sixty minutes. He said no, that. No, that's not um, what he said. He said he may be leaving. He did not say he was leaving after three years. No, he said that he if a power a five school comes, comes this, along, yes. I have to entertain it. I would be a fool not to. And Dion has that's always not been the same. No, Dion has always. But Dion Sanders also said that he's not going anywhere, and that he's not meeting with any schools. He did. He did. Now, like I said, from a business standpoint, money, hey, man, you know, more power to you. Your, your stuff probably won't get stolen as much, so on and so forth. You know, it did get kind of ninjury down there, but, you know, it still is what it is out of your own mouth. It is what it is, man. And what it is is that you lied to them players to get them players that helped you show that you can coach, and now you're moving on to... Hey, hey, watch me tap dance. Da -da 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 -da. Been transparent and open about what his goals were. That is not, no, I disagree with you. He told and I disagree with him too. He would have to entertain it. He never said I would leave you that soon. No, he, he never didn't. said I can be gone in three years. What does it matter though? His contract I'm going to tell before. you why it matters. I'm about to tell you right now okay. why it matters. Because he damn wrong. Mm -hmm. Now. If he told them, if I'm going to go back and study some more, but from what I seen him say, he was not that direct. But not at was, all. If he was, and that's not what I saw, so I, we disagree there. But if he was, he's still wrong, but it's a low level because at least she was transparent. And you yeah, that's all. Of, that's what it's all in how you say things. Time. That's right. right. Okay. Still wrong. I'm going to explain in a minute. Now, if he didn't tell them that, okay, and I'm hearing from people who know athletes on that team that they were not told it that way. They weren't listening. Exactly. They were upset, and that a that lot of them are upset. Okay. They're not putting the ones that's upset on camera. Did. That's he did an not. Exact no, he cool. didn't. Exactly. Cool. If he did not do it that way, that automatically means that Deion Sanders used, exactly. abused, yep. and exploited mm -hmm. HBCU Jackson State. Yes. Just to be given an opportunity to And show. another thing that people are not highlighting, Deion Sanders said himself, the George Floyd thing, he was kind of in, in his feelings, some type of way, kind of in his feelings about that. And and that led to a lot of people committing to those HBCUs. But it seemed like that feeling is wearing off. Like, like we got to make sure that they don't get the best athletes because that's going to interrupt our programs here. Predominantly white institutions that he could coach. If he only used them as a stepping stone to getting a job at a white college, mm -hmm. he was dead wrong. Absolutely. Now, let me tell y'all why this is big. And a big hypocrite, too. If he only Dion knows what his real intentions were. If that was his real intention, because wasn't nobody checking for him when he was coaching at high school. If that was his real intention, then he, like he said, is dead wrong football mm -hmm. what case is the supreme court reviewing right now, now? check this out this is real right important case against uh, a, uh black what is it for black students in colleges absolutely mm -hmm. the u.s mm -hmm. supreme court right now is reviewing whether or not racially conscious admissions mm -hmm. in higher education are unconstitutional and guess who is bringing the suit asians but guess who's funding the suit white people mm -hmm. with connections to the six conservative justices on the United States Supreme Court bench. So what they're saying is Asians are discriminated against on the basis of the personality aspect of the admissions process at Harvard and the University of North Carolina, among other universities, by subjecting Asians to that personality assessment, which includes personality, background, social economic status, culture, this, that, who you are, what you want to be. Asians are being penalized for the high test scores and grades. So what the Asians want and what the white folks who are funding the Asians want is they want the Supreme Court to say you cannot include race at all as a factor in higher education admissions. If they throw that out, if they say Harvard cannot use the personality assessment portion of the admissions process, the percentage of Asians that get accepted into PWIs goes up by 20% and the percentage of black students will plummet by at least 50%. You know what that means? You are watching the gentrification of black children off of the PWI campus. Yeah. How is this relevant to Deion Sanders? No, no, no. Real quickly and we'll get back to it. Now, pay attention to that case that's going on because 
He's gonna he's gonna tell you how and and what I'm about to say might be along the lines of what he's gonna say. Now, that particular case is very similar to the uh, the integration case that we thought back in the '60s would have benefited us when we had Black Wall Street. We we was forced to deal with each other back then, and look how it was working out. You had black millionaires. You had probably more millionaires uh, back then or just as many as you have right now. Right now. Now, you say, well, how is he talking all this stuff? He conservative. Absolutely, I'm conservative. But I see both sides. And if you, before you bring arguments against me, check my previous videos about politics and you will see exactly what I believe in regards to politics. Now, that particular case is 2022, the 2022 version. Now, if they win that case, and I'm not saying I want them to lose, but I want somehow them to figure out which they don't care because it's a slap. It's another slap at us. Like they, the true enemy to uh, people who are indeed trying to do this white supremacy thing. Uh, me personally, I don't believe in it. I believe that it on, they only supreme because they had the numbers because some of us was dumb enough to get abortions. And through the years, we start fighting against each other instead of fighting for each other and and helping each other. Like that's how they was able to establish Black Wall Street by um, they say, OK, you know, you just you exclude us. OK, here's what we're going to do. They started working together. The money was going like this. That's how it's supposed to go. And he going to make a point that I want you to hear. So I think this clip is almost over. We 21 minutes in. Uh, we going to wrap this up soon. So y'all just hang tight. Reason I'm so personally disappointed in Dion is I thought he was there for a movement, not for money. Meaning Dion Sanders. The I thought that too. Like, and that's how I looked at it. I looked at it like, wow, Dion Sanders re really coaching Jackson State. Now, they don't rename me personally, nothing against the coach they name, but he's not going to have that recruiting power. He's not, he not going to be able to uh, get those athletes that they needed to come in to continue what they're doing at Jackson State. I think that they should have went after somebody just as charismatic if he wanted to do it. Like, just go go to Ray Lewis be like, uh, what do you think about coaching Jackson State University? Would you be interested in that? Somebody like him. Still can hide a little theme music. He come out with his with what he used to do when he came out on the field. It would have been dynamic. And I'm telling you other swag schools, look into Ray Lewis, man. See where his head at. I'm telling you. You got to get coaches like that. Dion laid out the blueprint. He showed us how successful the colleges could be, but Omar finna break this thing down, so I want to get more into what he was saying. Coach of Jackson State, I foresaw a situation where Dion would hire other coaches Calls other them, yeah. retired we'll call black them NFL greats be to coach other HBCUs. In doing so, you attract our top tier high school athletes mm -hmm. to come to maybe, HBCU. Maybe. Stay with me. Eddie Jordan, Foot, that's stay with me. Stay with me. Football and yeah, you know, like I know. If you got top tier NFL greats coaching HBCUs, the athletes are coming maybe. just like they was coming for Dion. He showed you, Charlotte. Dion, though. He showed Dr. you. Umar. And his other was Dion just one as one great. Of the most famous people ever. And his other was just as great. So listen, Eddie Jordan, Ray Lewis. State, that's one person. We're talking about a system, not an individual. So. Dion and these other coaches bring all these athletes from high school to play football, basketball, so forth. The revenue of the HBCU goes Come up. Lord. As a result of the revenue going up, Charlemagne, the schools got more money. They don't have to subject themselves to closure. They don't have to subject themselves to being dependent exactly. on white money. You got HBCUs at risk of being closed. I read something that said almost a half of them, a half, may not survive the decade. Mm -hmm. So this was bigger than football. This was about the survival of the HBCU. It's bigger than Dion, though, Dr. Umar. No, yes, no, it is. no. We, stop trying you're to, you're stop the trying to, no, you're stop blaming, trying to give celebrities no, a pass, no, Charlamagne. No, you're blaming the individual. That's what, I'm trying I'm to do. Him. That's what a lot of people are trying to do. Not being men. But you know what I'm blaming us listen. for not being men. That was an unmanly can, move. Can you admit one thing? It was. Dion could have went down in history, uh, brother. Uh, HBCU he definitely underfunded. He definitely could have went down in history. Now, Charlamagne go try to bring up this fact. Okay, why are HBCUs underfunded? 
because we still don't get it. We still don't get it. Like we need to pull. Listen, y'all got excuse. I almost dropped this thing. We we got to pull our resources together, you know, to make this a little more fair. Of course. Were they chronically underfunded before Dion? Yes. Yes. Were they be chronically underfunded after Dion? Yes. Absolutely. What are those reasons that they're chronically underfunded? We don't because be we as black men. Mm -hmm. have not come together to create the funding source to make sure they survive. Exactly. I don't want to hear about the government. We have too no, many that's, wealthy that's, blacks. Y'all exactly. interview them every... Like he said, we have too many wealthy blacks. They interview them every day. And shout out to Kevin Durant. Libras, man, Libras. Of course, him being a Libra. When Libras are seeing straight, they're going to see both sides and going to be like, okay, he's right. That's not fair. Shoot, he shot a million dollars to him. Shout out to Kevin Durant. That's what so, needs so to be you done. Got, you got low, uh, don low, low donor, low donor, donors. low alumni donors, okay. right? Okay. Low endowments. Correct. That's a us problem. He part of us. Why you keep exempting exactly. somebody? One they person. not better than us. They He's not better. Okay, but the point is that one man could have been a catalyst for a movement that would have revolutionized sure the survival but, of HBCUs. But why, why does the movement stop just because he left? HBCUs going to still be missing there. You're missing the point. He, I, he, he, he definitely missing, missing the point. Here. See... You notice he used the word catalyst. Look up that word. I'm not going to tell you what it means. I want you to look it up. He could have been the catalyst to get people like Ray Lewis, to get people like, let me think of people that's from the South, Midwest, because you probably ain't going to get too many from the West Coast unless they're from Oakland or somewhere. Uh, maybe like, say, a Charles Woodson or these type of people. Well, Charles Woodson is a little reserved. Like, you need that, that, you know. And Charles Woodson is a very respectable guy. Uh, but you need somebody that's a little more, like, loud. Uh, like Ray Lewis. Like uh, Steve Smith. Like Cam Newton. But Cam Newton, uh, you know, I'm wondering, like, like how much he really is kind of in the football. And Cam Newton chasing the ladies. You got to be careful with that because that will be a distraction in and of itself. You got to keep that under wraps. Keep it at bay. About Frederick Douglass. But if Frederick Douglass would have pulled out, it would have hurt it. The underground route. So, so he used the perfect example that the abolition uh, was not about Frederick Douglass. Uh, but if he would have pulled out, it would have been a hindrance because he was like a catalyst. The word he used was catalyst. Just like Harriet Tubman, catalyst towards the Underground Railroad. Now, we don't know exactly what happened with that. But we know that the abolitionists helped free the slaves. We know that. So they were basically using Frederick Douglass as like a, a middleman. You know, so let, let's, we're almost done. We're going to wrap this up in a couple minutes. It wasn't just about Harriet, but if she would have pulled out, it would have failed. So what was the, the civil HBCU rights movement, movement wasn't just Dion. about King. Before Dion three years ago, what was They the were struggling and he could have helped save it. And for Pretty him much. to pull out of Jackson State the way that he did it before making sure the HBCU system survived, to me, was selfish. He chose money over the movement, Charlemagne, and celebrities do it all the time. And they do it all the pass. time. Nobody you can give them a pass because they rich. Deion Sanders is. He had a chance to help and he hurt, and y'all want to condone that because you black celebrities are not committed to the best interests of black people. Well, let me ask you a question. Uh, when, and that question, was a when fact. Deion was Coaching high school kids for several years, uh -huh. you know, when he we was talking about that. Listen, listen, we're listen, talking listen, about no, survival listen, of listen, HBCU. Listen, listen. Me, I'm gonna get there. When he was coaching high school kids for several years, you know, black kids. When he was opening up Prime Prep Academy that got closed down because they had financial issues. When he went to Jackson State for 1.2 million dollars for four years and said, you know what, y'all take the state for four years. Well, listen, y'all take half this salary and go, and go build a better facility. Uh -huh. relax, go build a better uh -huh. facility for students. Uh -huh. And he got and again, watch my video on Cap. Because Jackson State is claiming that Deion Sanders was lying about that. So I don't know. Maybe he was. Maybe he wasn't. But they're saying that the money that he put, he, he wanted to do that. Nobody, they didn't need him to do that. So on and so forth. And the proof is in the pudding. They got the stadium approved that he wanted. They pretty much, they got 
to the point where they would they offered they was going to offer him a million dollars per year to stay to stay now everybody a lot of people coming on here coming to his defense man they coming to his defense but the way i look at it is i look at it the same way that dr umar looked at it that he could have really done something special and he chose money over the movement like i know some of y'all you know you ain't really been around black people like that so you can't really see like what's going on like like in a place like Milwaukee, that people just need a catalyst. Now, flip side, flip side. I don't believe in white supremacy, but I know it'd be some rigged stuff going on. Like every time a, a real strong leader rise up that they can't buy out, there's not in them boule and all that stuff. They try to kill him. They try to kill him. Like, even if he got ideas and he start getting big, sometimes they just come up short. So they do do things to undermine movements. And they watch people. Like, when I tell you, y'all don't got to believe me, man. I got proof that I'm literally on the watch list. I'm on the watch list. And and sometimes I wonder, is that the reason why this I'm just in such a battle with YouTube? Like I should have been monitor. I should have been had a thousand subscribers. I was looking at my impressions. I only had like eight hundred impressions on one of my videos. So in other words, that means that they only presented as an option my video to eight hundred people in the whole entire world. The whole entire world. Come on now, that ain't fair. That ain't fair. And I wonder, is it because I'm on that watch list? Because there's reasons we're not going to get into. Maybe they know these things. Maybe they know uh, Bible prophecy, this, that, and the other. You know, hey. But what's not right is how we spend our money everywhere else we spend our money everywhere else now i can see like from a personal level me personally i look at it like this if you haven't been supporting me why should i support you unfortunately that's how i had to look at it if you haven't been supporting me why should i support you are you more important than me the money's supposed to go like this in the circle that's why they call it currency a current goes like this it don't go like that. It goes around in a circle, in a circle, in a circle, rhythmic circle. So you got guys that sometimes I wonder like, okay, you being supported, but who are you supporting? What do you want to see happen in the world? We need to get out of being, like, even on YouTube. Stop being into these guys that only think about themselves, man. Take what they saying. Use it to your advantage, you know. Take what I'm saying and you can use it to your advantage. But you should not be funneling these people. What are they doing? What are they doing? They, half of them, you got this dude, this dude, this dude, this dude. They all doing their own thing. And then they deal with each other. They don't help nobody come up. They just deal with each other. Oh, he got 100,000 subscribers. Now he with this dude. I'm not dealing with them. Like, if I ever were to get up to 100,000 subscribers, I'm going to deal with the people who dealt with me, who was in my comments, this, that, and the other, when I only had some hundreds. I'm not going to try to align myself with these people that, that couldn't even give me a shout out, couldn't even help me using my content acting like they done created the ideas and then you listen to some of them they act like people doing it to them when they doing it listen man you can't brainwash me you need to keep it realer than that man before you get exposed nobody is beyond getting exposed on here not me not you not nobody and like uh, this one YouTuber uh, Duke said these guys be on here this is what they do they be like, 
I never heard of him, I don't know. But then you hear them using his catchphrases. You've been watching this video, stop lying. You knew about this because you watched this video. But we got to get out of this little me, myself, and I stuff. Yeah, on a personal level, there's certain uh, ways that you got to be that way. But as a whole, you're going to get your butt strung up trying to be the Lone Ranger. You might want to have a team with you. I'm just telling you, like, I ain't getting into no prophecies or nothing. But it's going to be some things that's going to happen based on propaganda. Propaganda is going to fuel some negativity in the future. And all y'all dudes is just trying to distance yourself from everybody talking about you the talented one, you this, you that. You're going to be the first one to go up. Then you're going to see how much they really like you. I heard somebody was telling me. Like some of them, they narrow-minded. Like they only like the ones that's the most like them and the most appealing to them. Me, I'm not boxing myself in with anybody. But at the same time, the truth is the truth. And the truth is that the reason why black people is at the bottom, one of the reasons, this number four, is that people get the resources and they leave and don't do nothing and they build up them over there we'll just call them them over there build their stuff up now am I telling you to move to the ghetto absolutely not I'm not going to do it I wouldn't tell you to do nothing I wouldn't do but at the same time when you make it when you make it like that you sh we should start seeing some little improvements here little improvements there little improvements here little improvements there instead of you you towards every black why don't you get your tap dance shoes out and let's see how good you can tap dance because you tap dance a lot of people is but anyway thanks for watching this is the truth man the channel is no matrix no simping all subjects channel